Good evening, everyone. I'd like, like to welcome you to the regular scheduled <coughs> work session for June 21st, 2021 at 6 p.m. Good mind. Ms. Burner, if you would call roll, please. Did you print one out for yourself? Yes, I stole Mr. Bridges' agenda. Hold on just a second. When you're a solid rush. Okay. You can share it. Mayor Lowry. Here. Councilman Grimm. Here. Councilman Eggleston. Here. Councilman Nowakowski. Here. Councilman Cobb. Here. Councilman Roadwald. Here. Vice Mayor Cook. Here. Seven members present. Thank you very much. And tonight's invocation will be done by Councilman Cobb. Dear Heavenly Father, give us the power to the uh, yeah, not the power, excuse me. Give us the strength to do what we feel is right for our citizens and what they would want. Also, watch over all of our city employees, watch over our first responders, our fire and EMS, and our deputy sheriff. Also, watch over our military. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <coughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, I'm looking at a disadvantage here. This thing is not down the lady email, so I don't have this. Okay. All right. Well, there's, you can, you're more than welcome to look at mine here. There's okay. not much on it. <coughs> so, all right. So moving on. Action. We'll need action on the, let's see, mine works. Action on the uh, work session minutes for 6 7 21. Oh, no. That should have been. Yeah. Yeah, that should not be there. So it should say NA. I have no clue how that got on here. So you don't have any minutes? No, it's work session. Is it not supposed to? Oh, they're supposed to be carried over to the next meeting. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, good call. All right. Uh, communications done tonight. City manager's report. Um, comments from members of the public. I've been on the other one too, prior to that one too. Comments from members of the public. Any comments, public? All right, public. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Committee reports none. Down to uh, resolution. Ordinances will be done in regular session. Other business legislation discussion. Mr. Bridge. Thank you, is. Mr. Mayor, members <clears throat> of the council, members of the public, and city staff. So we have quite a few re resolutions. Uh, some are a mix of intro. Some are were introduced at the last meeting in action. So we have res resolution 2021-12R, that would be introduced and voted tonight. That is a resolution appointing the city manager as a designee for the city of New Carlisle's mandatory public records training required by the Ohio Public Records Act. That is a resolution. We have uh, ordinance 2021-16, that was introduced on June 6th uh, with a public hearing and action tonight. That is an ordinance authorizing the city of New Carlisle to lease uh, property owned by the city. We have ordinance 2021-17 that was also introduced at the last council meeting on June uh, 7th, and that would be public hearing and action tonight. That is an ordinance supplementing certain appropriations contained in a new Carlisle City Ordinance 2021-01. And those, all those supplements have to deal with um, some tax incentives that are really hard to budget for the beginning of the year until we get their taxes. Uh, so we do have to supplement that to actually pay them on their tax uh, incentive. We have ordinance 2021-19 that was also introduced on June 7th uh, with public hearing and action tonight. That is an ordinance amending chapter 280 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio for the purposes of establishing a mayor's court. And that is the big legislation piece that enacts our codes to be updated to allow for a mayor's court. Uh, we have an introduction tonight uh, with public and hearing action on July 6th. That is ordinance 2021-20, an ordinance amending that ordinance amending ordinance 2020-07 for the purpose of making the city iPad use policy effective as to additional city board members and to correct the scrivener's error. Uh, then we have uh, ordinance 2021-21 that is introduction tonight with public hearing and action on uh, July 6th. 
That is an ordinance adopting the tax budget for the city of New Carlisle uh, for fiscal year beginning January 21, 2022, and submitting the same to the auditor of Clark County, Ohio. Um, as we know from past years, our tax budget is the very first thing that we do to start our budgetary process for 2022. Those numbers more than likely will change throughout the process, but again, this is step one for us to get to our operating budget. And that is all for legislation. All right. Council, any questions or comments regarding the issues and the subjects at hand for Mr. Rich? <clears throat> I don't appear so. All right. Anything else? No, oh, I'm good. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's open discussion for any other city related topics of more interest. Mr. Cobb. Right now, I want to know who's all going to be involved with the fireworks. Right now, that I know of, it's just Mr. Grimm and myself. Won't, won't be me. I uh, will be dedicated elsewhere. <clears throat> I said I won't be able to make it. I'll be elsewhere. <clears throat> I mean, I can be down there in the afternoon to help you guys do whatever um, to about 7-ish, 6-ish, whatever time my wife has me. Uh, so... <coughs> Let me know what you need me to do prior to. And Did he say it was just him and Grim at this point? Well, the main, the main thing will be the next day cleaned up all the trash. Oh, then by all means, I can come down. Oh, yeah, next day. That's no problem. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I'm debating if we want to put barricades up. And after? <coughs> huh? After? Like the day after? Or? <clears throat> no. Put, set them up, block them roadway since there's only going to be Mr. Grim and myself. I can I'm help. Not, I'm not going to donate. <coughs> Oh, they got no, I might go in the hospital. No, I got you. Do we? I mean, here's the deal. Do, does do, does council want to close the road early in the day, or just a couple hours before the event starts? Because um, I mean, we I, I can help out too. I just have to be all for council. So if I need to sit somewhere for a little bit, I'm fine with that. Um, but I mean, well, what time what? are they going to start setting fireworks up? About ten uh, Not off, but up. What time? Nine, nine or nine thirty, I believe, is when it gets dark enough. Well, I'm the, talking. When, when is the fireworks company actually going to go back there and start? They will go back in there. They'll be in there at seven o'clock in the morning and, and start that, putting the boxes in place. They want to limit traffic once they get back. And then they'll start loading the mortars uh, by right around noon. So, so that's when they have to have everybody closed up. Yeah, I was going to say, I would, I would say once they start taking the mortars back there is when we'd probably want to... Well, that's when they try. want Brubaker and all that yeah. blocked off back there. So... Because they don't want any vehicles back yeah. to where they're loading. Yep, yeah. all right. So, we get the barricades up by, you know, 11.30, 12, as soon as they get back there. I was going to go ahead and set them up with the tape and the, everything and then... Well, he's going to set the trash cans over there around Howard's parking lot to keep them happy. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, after the barricades are up and closed, just leave them. And then uh, that evening, we'll have to open up all, all the barricades. And then Sunday, we'll have to go down and pick up all the trash that uh, yeah. people don't know how to hit a trash can. I understand that. <laughs> so... What would you like us to do? I mean, we get the barricades, but do you want me down there at a certain point in time? I mean, does I someone physically need to be? I would down there at 30, we could put the barricades up and block off Mill Road and Brubaker. Is that something that we need to block off early, or can we just block off the section that goes back to where the fireworks are early and then maybe come back up and block off Mill Road later? I don't, I don't know. I wasn't there as long as you guys were. The last there. time we didn't block off until they started loading and doing the wiring. What time was that? That was at noon. At noon? Is that when you started blocking people off? No. Okay. I mean, does someone need to be at the roadblock sitting there with it, or could we just block it off and call it a day? We just block it off, and Mr. Cook and I sit under the shade tree then. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just come up Saturday morning. I'll have him put the roadblocks out Friday, and I'll set them up and then head back home and then come back up for the event. So you and I'll have to get out there and do any of that kind of strenuous work. And do what? I can do that for you so you don't have to go and do all that strenuous work. Because I think a couple of years you would sit out there all day, and I don't think we need to do that. So I can just, you know, set them up and then Well, I sit out there all day, and my buddy come and got me. 
well, we're trying to avoid that, Mr. Cobb. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's simple stuff. I, I, we, we can get them set up, it's not a big deal. Well, what I was thinking about blocking off is, last year, they started coming down the behind Howard's and down behind the tower, some of the crazy people. So what I was gonna do is block off right there on the east side of the garage, block off back there by the Bay Roof ball field, Brubaker, because we had to keep letting that woman out the last time we lived right there. Mm -hmm. They kept going in and out, so after we moved back down, block it off there on the east side of the garage, and then uh, block it off there by the entrance of where they parked behind the ball field back there, and block, block it off Brubaker. Is anyone available, like, if I swing by in a city truck and pick you guys up and just, we just knock it out real quick? Where, can we swing by and pick you up so you can tell us where you want them? I'll, I'll be down there to help you. Okay. It won't take long to set everything up. We'll have them set aside on Friday. On like Friday, we'll have, we'll have a couple barricades at what could be the potential location. So if you pick your ones and you need a different one, we'll have a couple spares down there. Well, you know, we're... The back park ball field there yep. where they park. I was going to put that all the way across Mill Road. Yep. Going to use barricades and tape. Block the <coughs> back from Mill Road completely off. And then right on the east side of the garage there between the garage and that fence, <coughs> block that all off. Hopefully nobody will try to come down the back side. Or we can put a barricade there. Okay. What time do you want me to like, just be up here at like noon, you think? 11.30 now. I have another person or two who would be interested in helping. Do I just have to tell them to show up there? Do what? I have another person or two interested, said they'd be interested in helping. Yeah, once, once we get the uh, barricades up, we can all leave. And then we'll have to come back that evening. And then Friday or Sunday, we're going to have to go and empty all the trash cans and put them back up. So have them come about 11.30 to help set up barricades? And then what, about six or seven in the evening to? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Sunday we'll get up there, you not, might want to get up there about nine o'clock so we can start picking up the trash and get that all cleaned up, get the barricades moved out. Okay. We'd reach out to the uh, local Boy Scouts, see if they need to earn a merit badge for trash pickup. I was thinking Party so comes strong. strong. Thought about shooting them a text real quick. <clears throat> How many people we got showing up for barricades then? We got one, two, three, and then Mr. Grimm's two, five. Now he's got another one too, Mr. Grimm does. Okay. You know, and the dumpster will be empty, the ballpark dumpster will be empty on Thursday prior to, so it'll be completely empty. Okay, so, so I'm just throw all the trash in that. Okay. So I'm gonna go back on my word a little bit. Since you have so many people showing up, can I just Bypass coming up on noon, so I don't have to come up here and come back and then yeah. show up for the event. Yeah. Little hour, okay. Yeah. Uh, also, would you get a hold of uh, what is it, Eldridge? Is that his name? Bill? Get hold of who? The one from the fireworks, Eldridge? No, oh, Elzer. Elzer. Uh, John, yeah. we need to break them boxes up before they put them in there. <laughs> oh, uh, that made me think. Um, and we'll have to probably get to voting of it later. Um, we only had like 14 in the budget for the fireworks show, so the contract was execu ex executed for 12. And my guys spoke with him last week. Um, he's wanting to know if you guys want to put a little bit more towards that show. <clears throat> it's already budgeted. I don't see why. Well, we have 14, I think, for the whole show. So that oh, we got to pay. Any, we're not paying any food vendors. We're not paying. Is Mr. Graham, are you taking payment for your DJ services? I mean, should I just max it out at the? Make thirteen hundred, or leave a thousand for a buffer. So I go up to thirteen five, or we budgeted fourteen. I think and so. We got yeah. it at twelve. You don't have the cost. Fourteen. It's fourteen. It's fourteen. I, mean, 14. Not, I mean, you might have some overtime. I don't know. You know, fourteen. Uh, it's, it's a line item. Yeah, there'd be a coming out there department yeah. line items. <clears throat> it's under special events. Yeah. You know. I mean, I'd, I'd keep a little bit of a buffer just because you never know, but I mean, I wouldn't be afraid to go to 13.5, 13250. Okay. So, right, we'll amend the contract, but we can do that in time. 13.5 is fine with me. 13.5. What we got? We had 
Oh, it's 15 in the budget. Should I go up to 14, you think? I go 14. For the fireworks. 14, 15 for the fireworks. Just 14. 14. I'll run with that. How many deputies we got? I'll have to look on detail, Commander, but I think we put in for like four or five. I'll have to go back through the software and look. Four. Four. Some around there. Thank you, sir. Could someone meet me uh, this Friday or... Monday to I, make, we want to double check the place we need to mow and I want to mow a Friday or Monday so it has a little bit of regrowth prior to the lawn. I'll meet, well, I'll meet you Friday up there and show you. Okay. I can show you everything what I got planned for the barricades and all that. Yeah, what time do you think? Noon? You tell me what time you want to be up there. Noon? <clears throat> Anything else Mr. Cobb? Uh, they're not. Are they having the uh, two inches, Randy? I'm sorry, sir. Are they having the two inch fireworks? Um, e I think the so. The cake? Yeah, it's a mixture of something, but I don't remember exactly what he said. But now that we're going to add more to it, we can get big, a little bit bigger stuff. He said. Well, he put the case the last time in the front, right there between Burbaker Farm and the grass area above. I'm not trying to be rude, I'm actually texting him because he needed to know ASAP because they were bringing a load down. So I don't want to think I'm coming across the here. I'm done. Thank you, sir. All right, anything else? Council, any other topics city related? Um, we'll, go, we'll go down the line, Ms. Nowakowski. Um, at the last council meeting, we had <coughs> mentioned that we had, a, had been invited to apply for a federal grant from the USDA on composting. There's a, turns out there's a $25,000 match on that. And we have, to, with the minimum, the minimum on the thing was $45,000. And to do that would have gotten us way beyond what we are ready to do in terms of composting. But as I, as I thought about it, Mr. Cook has mentioned a number of times that he thought we needed to have some kind of a retreat or something to talk about what we want to see happen in the city. And I'd like to encourage that and at that time we can consider some options there. <clears throat> Thank you. Any comments or feedback on that one? Have, have, have you checked with the health department on that? <clears throat> I, I, there's some rules you have to follow for the state, but there's nothing with the you, health department. You still got something on the county health department because you got to guarantee them that there's no varmints that can get in there or if somebody decides to leave the lid up, you've got to be able to make sure no varmints get in there. <clears throat> So you will have to go through the county health board. Thank you, sir. Anything else, ma'am? All right, Ms. Hagelson. Um, <clears throat> I was uh, thinking we should bring back the coffee and donuts with council for what, the first Saturday of the quarter? Yeah, I can't remember what timing you had it on, but I'm all for it. It was a great event. Um, I think we had it like 9 to 12. Um, I know that the dates that I had spoke to Randy about, uh, the date in July was the shelter houses rented, but you were going to check on the fire station? Fire station's good. Fire station's good, so July, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the dates okay. I have written down at home. Um, but I did it the first Saturday after the first meeting of the month. Okay. Uh, the July one was? July 10th. <clears throat> Is that what it was, Mr. Rosewald? <coughs> I'm guessing. Oh. That's the first Saturday after the first meeting, right? Is it? July 10th, yeah. Yeah, that one's at the shop. That one's at fire station. So July 10th at the fire station? We have to advertise for that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we only got one in last year. Uh, last, didn't we only get one of those in before yeah, COVID? I think so. And then the other one was what, nine or 
10. 9 to noon? Yeah, okay. Um, noon. And that'll be at the fire station? I mean, is it, is it okay to have that at the fire station, Chief? I mean, is it okay to have that many people there? During sure. The, during fire station's open to the public. <clears throat> awesome. So July 10th, it will be at the fire station from 9 to 12, and then October 9th, it'll be here. Well, and I will. That's a good question. I think you should ask that. Sure. <laughs> what? Can we have at the downtown building? As long as you guys don't mind firehouse call. Firehouse? Yeah. I, I mean, I'd much rather do it where we're not impeding the place. <coughs> they have a run. And we, we haven't just... had an open house tour of that building since it's been done, so I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have it at. <clears throat> 101, 101 instead of the fire station. And I'll get with Sergeant Lowe and just, excuse me, sir. I'm sure you don't have an issue with a small open house on that day to show the public what we've done in that building so far. You good with that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah that's easy. Well, we have the, to get with Penny Lane and see if we can, if they have any travel dispensers for coffee. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great idea. Good idea. Uh, very good idea. Yeah. Will we have any like new signage or anything up by then? It's done. I'm waiting for it to be installed at this point in time. Okay. And I also went out and got um, new wall, outside wall lights for them because the ones I have on there are hideous, the gold ones that they have. Yeah. So I actually got um, somewhat period specific um, new ones that are black with other well, bronze with like a wrought iron design up top, just similar to what they would use back in the day. So we're going to get those installed. Are we leaving the windows open on that or are we covering them? They have curtains. There are curtains up now, but we're not putting any vinyls on them. Okay, that's yeah, what I meant. It's too gaudy gotcha. at some point in time. Okay. <coughs> Anything else, Mr. Robo? No, sir. Mr. Cobb. Mr. Kiko, I want to thank you and your city employees for the red and blue line. <coughs> that's good. And also, that's in honor of our fire department and our deputy sheriffs. Okay. I will pass that on to the guys. Thank you. Yeah, they've done a fine job. I finally got down to see it. Thank you, Mr. Cobb. Was you good, Ms. Eggleston? Yeah. Mr. Grimm, did you have anything? Mr. Vice Mayor? I got a laundry list. Yes, he does. <laughs> it's tracking since Guys, we before we go on. Yeah, go ahead. Does council mind if, like, because we'll have the legal advertise for that, we'd be coffee and donuts with council and open house for 101 South Main? Is, yeah. is that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Well, while, while we're on that, if we're going to have it downtown, you know, I think we had about six dozen donuts the last time. If you're going to have it down there, Maybe are you going to have to up that? I just had another great idea. So the coffee, it's a Saturday, right? Yeah. Why don't you guys push it back to the afternoon? So the farmers, what time's the farmer's market open? 10. 10. 10. Two. What time is the coffee and donuts going to start? Nine. Started at 10. No, wait, I mean, does that make sense? It Cohen, it Cohen, I mean, all the, the traffic from farmer's market. Do 10 to 1? And the one's fine. And then go down to Christians for and then go to Christians for tacos. <laughs> well, back to back to the question. You know, um, so ten, they say ten. out here we had one pot of coffee, which I think we ended up making the second pot. And you went through six dozen donuts out here. Are we going to have to order more donuts? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Double it, whatever's I'd left say over. Double at least. I mean, donuts going to go quick, especially with all that foot traffic from the farm. First market. come, first serve, you know. Inside the police station. Well, I, <laughs> I won't. Wow. Get, I want to get. I want to get four pack. <laughs> so the donuts are not going to be on that side. <laughs> Shots fired. Yeah. That's funny. When you get pulled over tonight, let me know. <laughs> I didn't say it. He said it. That was him, not me. <laughs> so let's start like this. What is an appropriate budget for the event? We know we'll work that way. Because I don't think we line item any money for these in council, did we? 
Well, would you? Uh, what's a dozen? What's uh? Where'd you buy the donuts from? Or the IGA. Oh, no. okay. They don't need donuts no more. We'll get them from the lady down there. Oh, K Creations got it. I can order donuts from uh, Donut Pals. I can also stop at Bill's on the way up. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Oh, look at this. Look at this the most popular guy right now. This guy right here. They will be there. Every one of the police officers in town will be there. They will be there that day. <laughs> I mean, we want to do it. We have a lot of, paper, we had a lot of paperwork to do this morning. <laughs> That's well, up to you guys. Whatever you want me to do. Well, we're going to do how many a year? Four? Four a year. I'd say what? A couple hundred bucks each meeting? We got there a donut's $1.19. At least from Schumann's, I guess. Right. Not that I frequent that place. What? <laughs> so. I don't know. What do you guys think for a budget? I mean, I have no clue. I don't know what was going on the last one. I haven't seen any spots in this area. There's an $800 miscellaneous in oh. the council budget but i want to see if we've spent against and i don't believe you have well, if so it's like I'm looking on 200 would get us all four meetings so yeah and just try to try 200 i'd say at the first one and just kind of gauge from what kind of response you get yeah. so didn't someone bring the coffee maker last year we, we got Ronda yeah. Ledford, and i've got some Ronda led for lotus their coffee maker festival's got some too we have paid you both. Do you, 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 you think we should need two? Thirty-five dollars. So, yeah. So there's plenty in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk tomorrow because it might be worth our investment to go to Sam's and buy. How many does? Because they're going to do these for a little, little bit for a year. Because I think, I think that's about a forty cup. Yeah. What we'll do is I'll get with Miss Harris tomorrow. We might just go to Sam's and buy a coffee thing that we have it because we'll have these events for the future. And if you're having a big meeting or something. You know, whatever. Even a council meeting, and there's no reason why we can't do it every now and then. Yeah, you know, just yeah. to have one that we can have. That'd be nice. Um, and then, um, and then, uh, the donut situation. Have you guys want me to do it? We can get them local. I can stop at Bill's. Whatever you want me to do. If you want to, if you, you want to go to Bill's, back back there. I'll go to Bill's. I'll be coming. I'll be up in the morning. I'll get up. I'm coming to that thing anyway. So I'll just <laughs> bring the donuts. You're you're probably going to have to call her. And, I will do an advance. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it's convenient on your way, that's fine with me. It's a little out of the way, but it's a Bill donut. So it is. <laughs> How many donuts you're going to get here plus the Mountain Dew? Well, uh, Mountain Dew is um, always going to be with me, so I will make room for that. <laughs> I have to throw a dozen donuts out the window buy donuts. <laughs> and with Bill's, the donuts are gigantic, so instead of getting 12, I may look at getting like 10 because they are massive. Mm -hmm. you know, 12, I don't know. We'll see. I'll buzz it out. Can you guys keep this yeah, within this room? Yeah. They will be we'll say a word. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> Mr. May. Sir. There's a camera there. Yes. We can't keep it. Oh, yeah. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot. Forgot. All right. Anything else on that topic? Back, back to you. Bill. It's 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Hold on. What day is this? July 10th? Let me make sure I'm here because my schedule has been very confusing to me lately. Yeah. So July 10th, 10 to 1, at the at 101 Main. Yeah. And then the one for October 9th will be 9 to 12 here at the Builder House. 9 to 12 here. Okay. Fun times there. All right, back to you, Mr. Vice Mayor. Okay. Have uh, Mr. Bridge, have you got the vet banners and the citizens awards on your veterans banners and the citizens award on your situation tonight? Yeah, so the citizens aware, I think you guys, so I'm going to get a plaque made. So we have some of those. Okay. I'll get like five, six made at a time so we can just have them. <laughs> that way all we do is get them engraved. The veterans banner, all that's going to be talked about at the 28th meeting. Um, so I am working on developing a policy because that's something that we, we need to get hammered down as a policy for that. Okay, I've got applications for the vet banners from three different locations. Oh, from other cities? And yeah. that's how I started too. Well, I'll get those. Next item, I had a couple of citizens complain about Brubaker Park, and I think Mr. Kitko and the city manager talked about this. Do we as a council want to get rid of Brubaker Park? 
as when you say get rid of, as in do away with the park and keep the property? Or well, basically, I think it was put forth to give that property at Brubaker Park to the uh, citizens and add to their property. This is a park that's a little bit hid back here. It's a little bit of a problem for the crews to mow, and um, we have had some dumping of brush in that park. I think Mike and I were out there along with Randy the other day. I would like, um, I mean, that's an interesting idea, giving it back to them, but it's, it might make their yards kind of on the plane of it might be a little funky, I guess, if you will. What a, my thought was, I know we talked about it, was just planting trees and let it, nature take it back over. Keep the property, but just plant, you know, let some trees grow and just reclaim it as natural woods. It's mine, yeah. Well, kick, it, kick that around, save it for another meeting. Okay, Mrs. Nowalski uh, and I talked somewhat, I think the manager and I have talked about this uh, council retreat. And I think we need to get that going ASAP. Um, is it, I guess the word is okay with council, we proceed to set this up and I will suggest sometime in August or early September. This would be a glorified work session, correct? Glorified work session. Yeah, that's fine with me. Offside or when do we get That's entirely up to you folks. I don't know whether we want to have a, most other cities have a facilitator when they do this. So how much you want to get involved with this I don't know. I don't know much about it. Well, I think I think we need to get together and figure out the direction that this city's going to go for the next ballpark five years. Okay. And outline where we're going with this city, uh, those type of things. We've been talking about this for better than a year, and I think it's time we either get off the horse or send the horse on over <coughs> to the barn. Next thing I've got on here is the charter review. I know we have a gentleman um, up to be appointed to that tonight. We still only have four people if we appoint him. We need five. Do we need to, I guess the word is, talk with the law director on how, I want to say this, I don't think we can circumvent the charter but we need to get that fifth or a sixth person on that charter review and get this thing going um, i don't think the charter right now does not allow a member of council to serve on that so i think that's something we need to get taken care of the other thing since we are having a problem in getting the citizens to respond to several of these committees I will throw it out for discussion of dropping the Parks and Recreation Board from five members to three. That will allow them to get themselves, uh, I guess the word is organized and get themselves going. Okay. We have three now. Two. One. One. We officially have two. Um, jury's still out on Because the way that the bylaws are written, it really backs us into a corner because three, according to the park bylaws, three is a quorum. We can't do anything without three. My only, the, the only hesitation I have with officially cutting it from five to three is not for the enough people. So I guess still, I was going to say because it would potentially limit other people. Have, you know, more ideas, more opinions, more help when we do things. But if we can't get three, we're going to get five. 
I was going to say, can't we do it so that it has a minimum of three? Well, I'll, I'll take a legal opinion from Jake. Or have three, and then you can still just accept volunteers if they don't want to be the people that are busy with, you know, at night. I don't have, to, I don't know when you would hold your meetings, but you know, like oh, I don't have time for your night meetings, but I'd love to help. So just tell me when your event is, and I can show up and trash or whatever, and still do three. It's, you know, whatever you think. Works yeah, best. I mean that's probably the better way to go is just try to hey, we help for this one specific mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. You don't have to be a part of the board. You don't have to commit to. I mean, you guys are doing the. Meetings. You guys are doing the digging or the deep work and then we right. just need you guys as volunteers to show up and help us there, right there you go yep so mm -hmm. so yeah i mean three is fine with me if that's a third if they're okay with it do what i'll do it? is i'll just draft because it's passed by ordinance so i have to go through the legislation process and let's put it in front of council see how the vote goes okay before we do that though <clears> let's say that the two don't resign I'm not doing anything until I know for sure what's going on with that. Okay. Because I was going to say, if those two don't officially resign, mm -hmm. or if we call a meeting and they show up, then we would officially have to work. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready for that to do. Go. Because, Art, did you said you're going to try to set a meeting with them and see if they show? Yeah, we've got to come around the date, though. Okay. Just text me. We'll work out. Okay. All right. I'm done. All right. Anyone else? Any other topics? New Carlisle related? Can we go back to donuts? <laughs> I've been eight all day. <laughs> all right. Uh, nothing else? Did you have something, Mr. Grimm? No, I'm like cut it. Oh, start. okay. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion by Mr. Grimm, second by Ms. Eggleston to adjourn. To adjourn. Council Nokowski? Yes. Councilman Cobb? Yeah. Councilman Roadwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. Councilman Eggleston? Yes. Motion to adjourn accepted 7 0. All right. We'll see everyone back at 7 o'clock.